Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a demo on the new, well, kind of new, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stick foundations. They came out sometime last year, I want to say around like July or August, but um, I barely purchased this a couple weeks ago, and so I um, want to do a full review for you guys. Um, this is not a first impression because I have been using this for about three weeks just because I wanted to get a feel for the product and let you guys know what I like about the product and what I don't like about the product. Let me show you what it looks like. I saved the packaging that it came in for the purpose of this video, but I cannot find the packaging, so um, the packaging is just a little black box. It's actually it's just super clean um, packaging, which is something that I really love about this product. Something that I love about all of the Anastasia Beverly Hills products is just their packaging is like really clean and chic. So this is the stick foundation. It comes in a black tube with the brand name and then a little gold in the middle and when you open it, it is gold inside, which I love because I love all things gold. Um, and then you just roll up your foundation like a lipstick. So the store that I went to only had about eight shades of foundation and it was just like a little, um, not a kiosk, but just like a little section in the make Makey's, Macy's makeup department. Um, I forgot the name of the store, but it only had about eight shades, and I was really disappointed about that because I thought that um, they only made eight shades, and that's like one thing that makes me really mad about foundation is that they don't make shades for everyone, and I don't understand why. But when I went online, um, and I'm looking online right now, so if you see me look down, it's because I'm on my phone, but um, Online, they have, I want to say about maybe 15, I don't want to count them all, but it's about 15 different shades, so that's good. So if you're interested in this product and um, you don't see your shade in a store, then definitely check it out online because I'm sure that you have they have your shade there. But I also know that buying foundation online is kind of sucky when you have never used it before because you don't know. Um, what shade you are and that's something that I always struggle with is finding the right shade um, so I always get people to help me but this was the first time that I picked out my own shade and I think I did a really good job so it says online that um, this is a multitasking light to full coverage cream stick foundation with a natural looking demi matte finish which I do agree on a lot of reviews that I've watched say that this is a matte foundation but I do not believe that it is full matte it does give you a little glow and that's actually like one of my favorite things about this foundation um because matte foundations I just feel like sometimes they just feel like you have glue on your face or just they're sometimes a little bit heavy so one thing that I do love about this product is it's not a full matte it's a demi matte semi matte um, and then everybody recommends that this product is for people with oily skin or combination skin, which I do agree. I think if you have dry skin, definitely stay away from this product because it's going to show every dry patch that you have on your skin. And if you have combination skin, so dry in some areas, oily in others, definitely put on a really good moisturizer before you use this product because this does catch on to any dry patch that you have. So let me get into the demo and then I will come back and let you know what I like and dislike about this product. I've already applied my moisturizer and primer to my skin. So what I'm doing now is swiping the foundation across my forehead, the bridge of my nose, under my eyes, and my cheeks. I wanted a heavy coverage so that's why I'm applying quite a bit amount of product. Now I'm going to be blending out the foundation with a flat top kabuki brush. Mine is from BH Cosmetics. I don't remember the number but I will put it in the description below. Also don't forget to drag the foundation down your neck so everything blends well.
Also, I forgot to mention that if you wanted to sanitize your stick foundation since you are applying it directly on your skin, I would suggest cleaning the top of it with a makeup remover wipe after every use. Since I want a heavier coverage underneath my eyes and around my nose, I'm applying more foundation to that area. I generally uh, do this because I get really oily there, so my foundation tends to wear off in that area. And then I'm just packing it with my flat top kabushi, kabuki <laughs> brush, not kabushi, kabuki brush. So now I'm going to be taking my loose powder and just applying it on top of that um, foundation to set everything and I'm just using a big fluffy brush. So to finish the look I'm going in with a highlighter and this highlighter is called Radiant Lights by Makeup Revolution and you guys this highlighter is so pretty. And it's only $6 at Ulta, so I would definitely check that out. So let me get into... <laughs> so let me get into the things that I like about this product. The first thing would be that I like that the foundation is not super heavy. It's very lightweight, which I love. I cannot stand a foundation that feels like I have a mask on. This foundation feels and looks like your skin, but better. So it's very breathable. It doesn't feel like you have a mask on, which is awesome because I just cannot stand a foundation that feels like you're wearing a mask. Two, I love that this product is buildable, and I think I forgot to mention that in the beginning. It is a medium to full coverage foundation, and it is definitely buildable, which is great because buildable foundations are the ones you want. In the demo, you saw me um, apply my first layer of foundation, and then I went back under my eyes and around my nose with more foundation. Um, so I like to build it a little bit heavier under my eyes and around my nose just because that's usually where product wears off on me because I do have oily skin and I get really oily in this area. So I love that you can build this product. And the third thing that I really love about this product is that it's just super easy to transport it from home to work or home out or when you're traveling I really love that it's just so small and just easy to transport um, it's not like a liquid foundation where it just takes up a lot of room in your makeup bag or your purse or wherever you're putting it in um, this is just almost like a lipstick or a lip gloss and you can just throw it and go and the last thing I don't know if I said the last thing on the previous one but um, I also forgot to mention this in the beginning. This foundation is $25, which I think is a steal because most of the time foundations are anywhere from $30 to... Okay, no, I've never bought a foundation for $30. Most of the time I buy foundations that are in the $40 ranges. So when I saw that this was $25, I was like, this is a freaking steal. Um, and the cool thing about this is that you can also buy these foundations to do your contour and highlight as well. So probably for the price that you would get one foundation, you could get a foundation, a contour, and a highlight. Um, and you get 0.32 ounces, so it says like 9 grams of foundation for $25, which this definitely could last you a couple months. That's And I keep in mind that I have been using this, um, so it, when I got it, it probably was like up to there. I don't wear foundation every day um, so this would last me longer than somebody who does wear foundation every day but I think that the average person could probably get about a month and a half to two months out of this. $25 is a steal and it's definitely worth trying. Okay so the things that I didn't like about this product or that I don't like about this product 
Um, it's not a lot because I do think that this product is a great product, but one thing that I hate, and it's not just this product, it's every foundation I've ever used, It when it oxidizes, is that the word oxidize or oxifies? I don't know, but you guys know what I'm talking about. When that happens, it gets all like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like. It wears off right here because that's where I get the most oily. When I get hot, that's where I get sweaty. That's where my oils come out. So every foundation I've ever had, whether it be drugstore, high end, or anywhere in the middle, it just it wears off right here. So my red skin starts to peek through, and I hate that. I hate that so much, and this product does do that. So that's why I thought that if I put more in this area that it would take less time to wear off so that is something that I am experimenting with um, it does seem to work but still at the end of the day it does wear off in this area everywhere else it stays on fine um, I wore this when I went on vacation last week and I walked around all day for probably eight hours nine hours and everywhere else on my face it stayed on fine it's just right here in this area where I get oily it just separates and my skin starts to come through and right here is where I'm red so it's like just doesn't mix well I have yet to ever find a foundation that doesn't do that for me two um one thing or the second thing that I don't really like about this product is ooh, <laughs> is that um you can only really apply it with a flat top kabuki. That's what I find works best. I think a different type of brush, it would just kind of like smear it and rub it everywhere and you'll have that foundation that looks like you painted your face but you don't know how to paint, you know, like when it has streaks. And a beauty blender, it just takes a lot of work. A beauty blender does work but it's just like... Okay, I don't know why I decided to use this form of movement. <laughs> to describe this but if you screenshot this and make a funny meme please tag me in it please ain't nobody trying to get a shoulder workout first thing in the morning you know so you gotta really like buff it with the beauty blender so I don't like that it's not like easily blended by everything um, but it's not that big of an issue because a flat top kabuki pretty much everyone has it you know so other than that, I can't think of anything that I don't like about this product. Um, those are just the main two things that I don't like about this product is that it separates and that you can't apply it with every type of brush. Um, overall, I think that this is a great product if you do have oily skin, uh, combination skin as well. It's definitely worth the tr It's definitely worth a try because the price is right. I would definitely recommend this product. Try it out for yourself and let me know how you like it if you do try it out. And also, if you guys know of a foundation that won't separate my skin right here, not my skin, my skin from the foundation right here, please let me know because I would love to try it out. And like always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and let me know what type of videos you would like to see in the new year. Alright, hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!